Breaking news. Whoa. Holy shit. Cut off the college football story to tell, talk about the PAFL. Mm-hmm. It is trade deadline Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. There's three hours in 35 minutes left mm-hmm. in the trade window for the NFL. Okay. And we have a big one. The Detroit Lions are trading TJ Hawkinson to the Minnesota Vikings what? from Adam Schefter per sources. Holy TJ shit. Hawkinson, obviously, tight end out of Iowa, an absolute stallion for the Lions, a great player, a pillar player, a person you'd want to build around cool. from how hardworking uh-huh. he is, his personality, what? his talent, what? his ability to get open in a situation in which it seems like will always be doom and gloom. He goes from the great and blue to the purple and gold. He goes from outhouse to six in one penthouse. He is now a member of Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Dalvin Cook's what? offense with Kevin O'Connell pulling the strings. Congrats to the Vikings uh, yeah. and congrats to the Lions no. for letting all their fans Fuck. know exactly where we are this season. Jeez. Unbelievable. Wow. That's awesome. I'm in very the division, happy, yeah, Vikings. Very happy, crazy. In the division, our only fucking good player. <laughs> One what are six. we doing? In the division, top ten That's pick crazy. in the NFL draft. Fuck it, we're sending them. In deal. the division. Hey, we're go- we want to see. You know what? If we're trading them, we want to see them twice. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking Just so stupid. Just so can come home. Twice, twice a year, we want to see this guy. Wow. I wanted them the to pay us. I think it's a second and three fourths, maybe. Or something. Oh, okay. If you can find it, good work. Great. Hey, future's bright. That's a offense. good draft pick. I'm sure they'll be great. Okay, so let's go to the last two drafts for the Detroit Lions. Oh my mm-hmm. God. And let's um let's go directly to like uh, their second picks, mm-hmm. which probably be good. Yeah. And their fourth round picks. And let's just see what could potentially, you know, be yeah. coming in return. That's right. St. Brown was a fourth round pick. For there we go. Good ball player. Oh, God is. So you guys find good quality in the force. What are we doing, though? We're trying but, to build a team. This is a great young core piece, a very, very, very fucking good tight end that has never caused any problems and has only experienced losing in his entire time there. Stafford, his main quarterback, gets traded out of there, doesn't bitch, doesn't say a word, and now the team sucks last year, sucks this year. Fuck it. We'll send him on his way, even though we are building a promising young team that would have been great with TJ Hawkinson on him. Yeah. Should have paid him, yeah. and then we could have had an awesome core moving forward with probably a new quarterback back next year in this draft because we're going to have a top three pick. Well, nah, fuck it. Send him in the division. He's going to score a touchdown against us every single time we play the Vikings. Probably. I promise you. Take the bet Good now. Chance. Anytime Probably. touchdown score TJ Hawkinson against the Lions. It will happen every fucking time. Sorry about it. Sorry about Fox. That is oh, absurd. Suck Tom, ass. Tom Pelissero is uh, confirming the Lions are sending t- uh, TJ Hawkinson to the Vikings. Sources tell him and rap. Okay, so Shefty oh. was told Ian was told, and Tom were told. Okay. Was it a group text? You think they're all in one group text? Yeah, three-man job. Yes. That'd be awesome. That'd be yeah. awesome if all the insiders are all on a group text, and you, like all the work you do is just to get into the group text. And then once you get in the group text, you just get the same messages. Mm-hmm. Right yeah, it's like when you're um, in insurance and you get residuals. For the rest of your life. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota sends a 2023 second-round pick and a 2024 third-round pick to Detroit for Hawkinson, a 2023 fourth-round pick, oh, and a... Bad. 2024 conditional fourth round pick. That's a good haul. <laughs> so they hold on. Detroit sucks. Hold on. Hold on. So I literally, Wait. as I'm reading that, I'm thinking, no way. Minnesota will send a 2023 second round pick and a 2024 third mm-hmm. round pick to Detroit in yes. return. Yes. So a second and a third, one next year, one two. In return, they get T.J. Hawkinson. A 2023 fourth round pick mm-hmm. in a 2024 conditional fourth round pick, probably upon playing time or how everything mm-hmm. else goes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> second round pick, though. Hey, Fucking you get a second, second round, round pick. Second oh, and the third. Big. That's awesome. I mean, great. Good job, guys. Three words, so right, Foxy? Stupid. Yeah, like literally. <laughs> Same old lines. That's tough. <laughs> I mean, that's tough. I mean, that's <laughs> tough to sell tickets. Do you think they're. Now, on the flip side. To hell with what they're doing. Yeah. I agree. Okay? And I, you know, hey, it's going to work out. Okay. It's the right decision. Uh-huh. These draft pick trades are unbelievable. Fuck these picks. Well, that's because, like, that's how we view it. Like, in, in comparison, too, we actually got a good haul to all these other fucking trades that are happening. But still, fuck these picks. A second rounder is pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Second right. to third. But yeah. No other teams because gave no, up picks, though. TJ Hawkinson, though, is also a... Uh, 
I mean, this is a game changer. Think about him going to the fucking Vikings now. So the Vikings at the tight end position, they had big country there for a while, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kyle Rudolph. Yep. He long was time. There. He was there for a long time. Did they get somebody after Kyle Rudolph? I they think have Irv Smith, Smith there now. Was, Junior. He was hurt last year, I hurt. believe. Yeah. yeah. Just got hurt again? High ankle, right? Uh, I think so. He was a second round pick a yeah. couple of years ago. Okay, so here we go. So now you just drop TJ Hawkinson into the mix Oof. on top of the Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, yeah, Justin I'm Jefferson what? offense, and everything they got cooking with the way they draw plays and the way they draw people open. This is a home run, right? I mean, I feel like this is a home run for the Vikings. And if you win a Super Bowl, who gives a fuck about any of the draft picks? The Vikings are one of those teams that I think the national PAFL fan base is going to have to, like, just buy into the fact that this is – the Vikings are a fucking wagon right yes. now. Yeah. They are loaded, too, with weapons. They have a very good team. Uh, Vikings tight end Irv Smith Jr. suffered a high ankle sprain on Sunday versus Cardinals and expected to miss multiple weeks. So Minnesota now lands T, a tight end TJ Hawkinson. This is another great example of a team realizing, yep. like, hey, no. we are in our window right now. Yeah. We can win. This, this entire NFC – Interesting. The entire NFL, a lot of weird shit going on. We have a good team. We have enough weapons. We feel like everybody's bought in. We're also trying to set a tone for a culture, uh, for the fan base to know who we're going to be. Hey, it's trade deadline day. We just lost a piece of our offense. We're going to fucking replace that. And when they're both back in five, six weeks from now, just wait until you see what we do. This is a home run for the Vikings in my eyes. And Victor the Viking. Yet again, wow. gets Fuck to come it. swinging his big fucking hammer all over the internet, doing skull chants in parking lots because the Vikings are going all in, the Vikings are loaded, and the Vikings are a team that are doing everything that we love. They're creative on offense. They're saying, "Fuck these picks, let's go win." They're paying people. Fucking a, let's go Vikings. Yeah, and not only is Hawkinson supremely athletic and a great receiver, but like he's in that Kittle mold. Like he will absolutely help their run game. Oh, he's yeah. Nasty, oh, wow. yeah, nasty, nasty blocking, loves putting guys down. And this just reiterates like Packers gotta fucking do something. You can't watch something like that happen with the team. Even though but two teams in your division are making moves today. Yeah. Now it's with each other, and one team got much better than the other one. <laughs> right. And but still it's, it's people they're open to business in the NFC North, not the Packers just yet. Um AQ, your thoughts on TJ Hawkinson going to the Vikings and what this means for that Vikings run game that uh, Ty just pointed out, and also that Vikings team as a whole. I think it's huge for the run game, but most people that understand the play-action game, the tight end is key, the over routes, the seam routes. This is a monster get for them. He's going to be able to do all the stuff going back across, cutting the DNs off on the backside, help at the point of attack, and then the play-action game is huge, huge pickup. <laughs> He's a good player, right, Foxy? Oh, he's awesome. He's so good. I'm so happy for him. It really is a perfect fit because he is a great pass catcher, but he blocks the hell out of everyone. He's too. the eighth overall pick. Yeah, dude. He's awesome. Just another tight end that we've taken to the top ten. Shout out to Ebron. Ass. Shout out to Ebron. Yep. Um, <laughs> Whoa. What are you talking about? He was, that was the other tight end. Gresham. Eric. I think Jermaine first, was the first round. First round, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Kyle Pitts. Golly. Uh, <laughs> Have the Vikings played a primetime game yet? Yes, think. they got blown Eagles. out by the Eagles in Philadelphia, and Kirk threw those two picks to Darius Slay. Oh, yeah. uh, and turns out the fucking Eagles they are their only loss. undefeated. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, are, they are unbelievable at football. I mean, how, how does this happen in the division and nobody else had even uh, thought that Hawkinson was on the block? Like, we've been talking about the trade deadline for a week, two weeks, and Hawkinson Haven't heard his name one time. never came up. The rumors were there a little bit. I saw a couple things that he might get moved, and he said all the right things during it all. But he said on a Motor City blog. Yeah. How come we're not seeing it? Yeah. How what come I'm not seeing this? Foxy, the local stuff. Foxy hey, that. don't be greedy with this information. Yeah. Yeah. Between the division, though, how often does this happen? Do they have to tie MCDC down to make this happen? Not the I assume he didn't want to. I was wondering if he was going to play tight end. Yes, yeah, true. He yeah. might have. Still yeah. might. Maybe that's why they traded him. That's now, you never, you never root for an injury or anything like that. Um, oh. Good timing, though, for the Vikings tight end to get an injury because then they, if it happened next week, they probably wouldn't have made this move, right? Maybe? Um, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think this is a perfect time trade deadline window for the Vikings. Um, who else? Was, was McNabb, there? was he the last in when he went from Philly to Washington? Uh, I'm sure. Well, I mean, it, Ravens it, it, and Steelers. And it happened this year with the Dolphins and Patriots as well. Yeah, but it, I don't think it's like uh, stars. Not normally, yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, yeah. not a massive Dorian. piece like that. Yeah, yeah so maybe player. McNabb, maybe the la last like massive name. Mm -hmm. Right. Then Favre. Yeah. Just talking football. I swear, there's no jab. 
to come to the Vikings. Vikings. Yeah, but he went from the Jets. Yeah, he, he went to the, the Jets, Jets first. to the Vikings. Okay. Okay. In the division, get the fuck out of here. We're sending picks back, what? too. Well, well maybe Dan Campbell's Jesus. like, who gives a shit? Because I know I'm probably going to get fired at the end of this year. Hey, you know, what if, he's still, what he if this is. is like the opposite of the Calvin Johnson curse? Sure. He's like, I actually want you to go like live. Yeah. yeah. I see a lot of myself in you, man. Go, get out of here. Yeah. Go do good, <laughs> get man. Get out of town. That's what they did with Stafford. Go do good, man. Yeah. yeah. You can see that. We appreciate your sacrifice, man. Don't be like me. No. Don't get, get fucking out of Detroit, man. <laughs> We'll trade you anywhere. Go to Minnesota. You're going to go playoffs this year, man. Win a ring for me, man. Come here. 